How to trim a Monstera Deliciosa Monstera Deliciosa is instantly recognizable for its beautiful, holy leaves and vibrant green color. Since it's a vining plant, it can put on a lot of growth up to 8 feet 2.4. If your plant Monstera Deliciosa is starting to take over your space, make a few cuts to control the size and keep it looking great. Whether you're working with standard or variegated Monstera Deliciosa, the trimming methods are the same. Method 1 Pruning Step 1 Plan on pruning your Monstera before the spring growing season. If you're cutting back the plant to control its size or just to maintain its shape, try to do it before the spring growing season. This helps your plant recover faster. If your plant has dry, yellow, or damaged leaves, it's totally okay to prune them any time during the year. Step 2. Sanitize sharp scissors or garden shears with rubbing alcohol. Dirty blades can transmit disease to your monstra, so wipe the scissors or shears with a cloth dipped in rubbing alcohol or diluted bleach. Want to make your own disinfecting solution? Mix 9 parts water with 1 part bleach. If the shears or scissors are really dirty, Soak them in water to loosen the dirt before you clean and disinfect them. Step 3. Wear gloves to protect your hands from the plant's irritating sap. Monster delicious as sap has calcium oxalates that can irritate your skin and cause a rash. Pop on a pair of gloves before you start trimming the plant to prevent skin problems. If you have kids or pets at home, it's a good idea to trim your plant away from them. Did you accidentally get sap on your skin? Wash your skin with soapy warm water as soon as you can and try not to touch your face or eyes. Step 4. Snip off yellow, dry, or dead leaves near the base of the stem. Whenever you see leaves that aren't healthy, Use your sanitized shears or scissors to cut off the damaged leaves. Cut close to the base of the stem so you don't leave long. Scraggly stems on the plant. Keep in mind that yellow leaves might mean that the plant is getting too much water. Leaves that are turning brown at the ends mean that the plant isn't getting enough water. Step 5. Cut off stems near the main branch to control the size of the plant. Step back and look for branches that are sticking out awkwardly or don't have many leaves. To cut back scraggly branches or reduce the size of your monstra, take sterilized shears and make a clean, straight cut across the branch where it meets the base stem. Keep in mind that when you cut off branches, you'll encourage the plant to put on new growth near the base of the plant. You can make a cut below any node on a branch if you don't want to completely remove it. For example, cut back each branch by 1 3 or 1 2 if you simply want to control the size of the plant. Step 6 Cut back 1 3 of the roots if you want to repot it. Can you see roots growing out of the pot's drainage holes? If so, Carefully pull out the plant and loosen the roots with your fingers. Then, snip one three of the root ends off with sterilized shears and fill your pot one three full of fresh soil. Place the trimmed monstera into the pot and surround the plant with soil before you water it. If you can't pull the plant out, turn the pot on its side and cut the roots that are sticking out of the holes. Then, you should be able to pull the plant out. Dealing with a really big plant. Ask a friend to help you lift the plant out of the pot and hold the plant. Throw these cuttings into the trash since they can take root and grow in your compost pile. 